Here in the United States, critical infrastructure continues to be attacked and experts are telling us that we need to stay vigilant. We need to be prepared because more attacks are coming. Even the FBI director, Chris Ferrey, said that the United States is currently experiencing the greatest risk in history. That is scary. I'm going to address what's going on and which infrastructure has been attacked to date. Again, it's happening right now. So make sure you stick around. All I ask is if you can do one thing, it takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So we are truly living in scary times. Look at these three articles. One says extremists keep trying to trigger mass blackouts and that is not even the scariest part. Another one, Pennsylvania Water Authority hit with cyber attack allegedly tied to pro-Iran group. And the third one, the emergency rooms in at least three states had to divert patients after ransomware attack. Those three things are all happening right now. So do me a favor, make sure you go and share this video with your friends, your family, and your loved ones over on Facebook so that they too know exactly what is going on. Now let's dive into it. Let's go to the extremists. This is something we have seen over the past year. It has really ramped up. Extremist groups are among those that are targeting the electrical network, exposing the reporting gaps between the state and federal agencies that oversee its security. I want to read you a few things here because the FBI director has stated that these things are going to happen more and more frequently, especially with all the tensions we have overseas in China, in Russia, and now Iran because of the United States supporting Israel. Yeah, it's turning into a massive crisis, but I want to read you this. It says, adding to the difficulties, no single agency keeps a complete record of all such incidents, but the attacks they they know about have regu uh, regulators and other power alert experts alarmed. It says, utilities reported 60 incidents they characterized as physical threats or attacks on major grid infrastructure, in addition to two cyber attacks during the first three months of 2023 alone. That's scary. Also says nine of this year's attacks led to power disruptions. The U.S. is on pace to meet or exceed last year's record of 164 major cyber or physical attacks. An additional analysis implied that the true number of incidents for both 2022 and 2023 is probably even higher. I want to show you this chart. Look at this chart. This is scary. Okay. It says attacks and threats against the grid doubled in the first quarter of 2023. In 2023, okay, this is the first quarter, first three months, we had 62 attacks. In 2022, in the first three quarters, or in the first three months, which is the first quarter, we had a total of 30. Okay, that is a huge increase. That's more than double. That's why we're concerned. Okay, that's just one of the issues. Because when we are going to see the power grid get attacked, okay? When we are gonna see uh, you know, all of our infrastructure get attacked, this is a problem. And it's a problem because it is going to cause blackouts and blackouts could happen as of right now during the middle of winter. And in the dead of winter, it is cold, which is going to cause a lot of loss of life. That's a problem. Now, it is not just the power grid though. Let's talk about this one. This just happened the other day. This, you can't see it, but this article is written on November 27th, okay? So again, this is, this is recent, very recent. It says a water authority in Pennsylvania reported su reportedly suffered a cyber attack. It says the municipal water authority in Alakipa, which serves thousands of customers in communities northwest of Pittsburgh, okay? It was attacked by an pro-Iranian group called Cyber Avengers. Now, according to the outpost, which contains a collection of pumps, 
that maintain water pressure and uh, regulate water flow it sent an emergency notice to the main headquarters after it was attacked. So good news there. Here's what uh, they had to say. They did not get access to anything in our actual water treatment plant or other parts of our system, other than a pump that regulates pressure to uh, elevate areas of our system. This pump was on its own computer network separate from our primary network and is physically miles away. Okay, so honestly, even though it was on its own computer network separate from their other primary network, and it says it's physically miles away, that doesn't make me feel much better. When a pro-Iranian group can have a cyber attack uh, and, and attack these things. Because what we've been told, again, by the FBI director from Homeland Security, we've heard this from multiple Pentagon officials as well, is that cyber attacks are going to happen. And that is the leading concern right now in the United States. Because we've heard this for the past a really couple years, ever since Russia invaded Ukraine, we have heard from the FBI, from Homeland Security, and from the uh, from the Pentagon, is that an attack physically on the United States is very unlikely, unless it's somebody within the United States. Which as of right now, because of the border security issue, there's already hundreds of people on the terrorist watch list that are in the United States, and we know that. Now we're trying to find them and keep an eye on them scary but they are telling us the most likely scenario is a cyber attack they would attack our water supply they'd attack transportation that is what they would do or even our power grid those are the cyber attacks that we should expect so again i don't want to worry you but i want to keep you up to date on what is potentially going to happen now here's a big one this also happened just recently okay says emergency rooms in at least three states diverted patients after ransomware attack. says Ardent Health Services, which oversees 30 hospitals across the United States, said it had shut down a significant number of its computerized services. Now, I want to read a little bit about this, okay? I want to, I want to read you this because this is important. Most people don't realize that we are dependent on technology. And being that we are dependent on technology, this means a cyber attack to that infrastructure could be fatal, could be devastating. Let's go ahead and read some of that. It says hospitals in at least three states are diverting patients from their emergency rooms after a major cyber attack hit their parent company last week. Ardent Health Services, which oversees 30 hospitals across the US, said Monday that it had been the victim of a severe ransomware attack in Oklahoma New Mexico, and Texas, forcing it to take action. In an abundance of caution, our facilities are rescheduling some non-emergent elective procedures and diverting some emergency room patients to other area hospitals until systems are back online. Now, uh, it says right here, Ardent said it had shut down a significant number of its computerized services, including clinical programs and its use of Epic Systems, a program that tracks patient health care records. That's actually a big one. And the reason why is because if you do not have the patient's health care records, you don't know if they're allergic to something, so you bring somebody into the emergency room, you don't know if they're allergic, you don't know if they're on other medication, you have no clue. So really, you're doing all this stuff almost blind. And that could put a lot of the responsibility on the hospitals. Okay, so again, critical infrastructure, it's a hospital. Third, they have a, a network of 30 hospitals across the United States, and they were attacked, causing them to have to shut down for a significant number of hours. Again, these are the things that we are facing, and I just want to be very clear on this. If you think the United States is immune to this, we're not. We are one of those countries that people look forward to attacking, okay? So just keep that in mind. Again, do your, do your friends and family a favor. Make sure you share this video with them so that they understand what is going on because again, this isn't something that is out of the ordinary. This happens time and time again, but mainstream media usually doesn't cover it. You think the Biden administration is gonna come out and President Biden himself is gonna say what happened in a, 
in a state that only, uh, you know, uh, really only impacted, you know, 5 million people? Probably not. He's going to address the nation in a grander scale. So again, these things get swept under the rug and most people never realize that they even happened. So that's where we're at at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on and share all the latest news and updates. But again, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next 